Welcome to part 51 of the Hunter Baby Challenge Season 2. And in this episode, uh, Zeb goes to Nathan's birthday party where she realizes her son had a child with her Aunt West. Oh! <laughs> no! Zeb's Aunt West. Nathan has a child. With his Aunt West. With his great Aunt West. Ah, oh, no. No. And Zev is. A, this Zev, the first generation Zev, but totally from a different, from a different save, is the caterer. Um. Wow. Callum and Dash age up in sometime in this episode, too. Oh, my gosh. First, the reason I just, how I discovered this is the little toddler running around. See the little toddler in the background? I was like, this little toddler's running around on his own. Then I got a closer look at the toddler. As Nathan's. Zev's son. So that's one of Zev's grandkids. This little kid is one of Zev's, Zev's grandkids. Yeah, Dandy here. Violet. Didn't make any cake. Of course not. I can't get over the fact that Nathan had a child with one of his with one of his aunts. Oh, oh, and oh, and oh. That is just... Oh. Uh, why? You'll get to see why. you get to see what I'm talking about. I'll give you some proof. The proof is about to come to light, okay? Remember Wes. Wes was the daughter... It was one of the daughters of the third generation Zev. And Zev's too good to eat with everybody else, so. Where is. N okay, at first I'm like, where the heck is Nathan? Nathan's there. Why is there no cake? Who are all these people who died? On the very same... Five people who died on the very same spot. Jake Brunus. Whoever that is. Darian Hook. Chanel Delgado. Craig Priest. Now there, there's Nathan. First I thought he was already there. But that's Nathan. Look at all those people who died on the very same spot. First, I had to make sure Zeb's mom didn't die in that spot. <laughs> that would be tragic. There's that toddler who disappeared and reappeared. First, I'm like, who the heck is this? Philip Heron. Heron is familiar. So, who is this kid at first? I already know who this kid is since I pre-recorded this episode. But for you all to find out. First, we're going to talk to Nathan. I don't know who this Javon Brunus is, to be honest. He must be like a cousin or something. Like a distant cousin. we're gonna hug him. We're gonna accept him that he committed incest. 
Yeah. We accept that. No, we don't. <laughs> Zeb's all kind of supporting his decision now. But we don't accept incest. <laughs> that you committed incest with, you, with one of your aunts. <laughs> oh. Out of all Zims. Oh. That's just... No. He's explaining that. You know, I met the... You know your Aunt Whist, Mom? Well, I had a baby with her. <laughs> uh, have all the women in Sims. So, so you pick to have a baby with. Someone you're biologically related to. <laughs> that kid's going to have problems. I had to find out who this kid is at first. When I first played this, like, who is this kid? Who is he? Nathan Priest and West. See? West. He had a child with Zev's aunt. That's incest. West is biologically related to Nathan. No, no. <laughs> that is so gross. Nathan, why? He's it to from a young adult to an adult. Okay, fine. But you committed incest. How do you feel about yourself? Aww. See, after I recorded this episode, I wanted to throw up that when I found found this information out, I wanted to be, I felt sick to my stomach because that is nasty. He, he, Nathan had a child with someone he's biologically related to. That's not okay. <laughs> That's not okay, Nathan. And then there's something wrong with you, but there's definitely mentally something wrong with you. You're mentally ill, Nathan. You need to get help. Some serious help. That you would have a child with somebody you're biologically connected to. Oh. Oh, oh. Ew. How is that okay, Sims? Ah. Uh. That's disgusting. Wiss belonged to Zeb. This is Zeb's, your mother's grandmother. Oh. The third generation Zev had a daughter named Wiss. Who I, um. Kept playable so she didn't age. That doesn't make it okay for Nathan to fool around with her. Nathan, no, that's one of your. She was biologically related to you. Oh, that's disgusting, man. That is disgusting. You had a child with someone you're biologically related to. Oh, Sims from dis Sims Four. You who made this game? I'm disappointed. How can you allow such incest? I never allow incest. In I don't have incest turned on in my game. Cause oh, oh, oh. How is this even possible? How is he able to do that? How is he able to fool around with his aunt? That's disgusting. I'm glad I got out of that mess. Because that is disgusting. Remember, Wes, he's from the, from the third generation. She was the third generation Zeb's daughter. Who I turned off aging for for a little bit. For a generation. Oh my gosh. For a generation and a half.
We're going to have a birthday. We're going to have Callum and Dash are going to age up the children. I'll drink some tea. I'm going to ask you to try really quick. We got our 15 Sims. We don't need a caterer, mixologist, or an entertainer. Oh, I remember this episode. Okay. This is the episode where Zev has the, the final cake and the final pizza and nobody eats it. Nobody eats it. <laughs> oh no it's, see the pizza and I move it to like three different places this place here and the other counter and the table and nobody eats it I remember this episode this is the episode where nobody eats the pizza or the cake <laughs> everybody's tired of pizza I guess this is the episode. It's time for Zed to start making more food. Everybody's tired of pizza. But why did nobody eat the cake though? If everybody was tired of pizza. Okay, please age up Callum. Thank you. Help blow out candles. Yes, Dash. Let's age up Dash. And the, everybody's smelling the food. They're like getting interested. They're getting anxious. They want to eat. And then nobody wants to eat the cake. Nobody's eating. Nobody eats it. I kid you not. I had to have Zeb and her two kids eat the food. But no one else touches it. Yeah, we got a slob on our hands. Nice. Call the meal. Watch this. Zeb's the only one that takes a piece. Watch this. They smell the food. They know it's there. But do any of them eat it? They're all gathered in line. Like it's a buffet. Wiss is pregnant again. Better be by Nathan. Call to meal again. As soon as she gets done eating a pizza. Take a piece. Eat your mom's food. Says a shame to you right now. Call to meal. Somebody call to meal. How can she can't do it? Call to meal. Here I'm doing it again. Watch this. Her kids get something to eat. And Zev gets something to eat. But watch this. And 
No, nobody else is taking a piece. Zev and her kids are getting something to eat. But nobody else grabs anything. Are you serious? It's reachable. Nobody else touches it. That's an insult. Even Zev's daughter touches it. Oh my gosh, that's like the second time you call the meal and only Zev's the one touching it. Oh my gosh. Okay. No one else is eating it. I guess everybody's sick of pizza. I get it, but it has to get eaten. She can't. She too, why can't kids call the meal? That's pretty stupid. What if Zev's occupied? Oh my gosh. Maybe you should move it. Maybe I should move it. You think? As I move it to two different locations. What if I move it? See, here we go. Nobody's touching it. Nobody's touching it. How come nobody's touching it? Food's there. On the meal. Nobody touches it. Nobody else is touching it. Zed's the only grabbing it. Zed's the only grab that time. Oh my gosh. Why ain't nobody touching it? Why are none of these people touching it? Oh my gosh. Come move to the table and see if they. Maybe they refer it in a different location. It's kind of hard for Zed to call the meal when she's eating. Ah. Maybe not on the table. Maybe on the maybe on the counter. Maybe the counter doesn't work. The table wouldn't work. But let's let's move to the counter. Party's almost over anyway. Go. Go try this. See. Oh my gosh. Call the meal. Nobody's touch it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Nobody's eating it. That <laughs> Zeb and her kids are the ones eating it. Oh, man. That's kind of like an insult. Come on. You're insulting Zeb. What are you trying to say about Zeb's food? She's got excellent cooking skills. Her food doesn't go. Her food doesn't spoil. It's always excellent quality. What are you trying to say? Ah, come on! <laughs> you all are so picky. You're the pickiest people I've ever seen in my whole life. You are much. Can't please you all, can I? You're just tired of Zeb's food. Just say it. Just freaking say it to Zeb's face, okay? Don't just... You know what? We're not keeping it. Because we don't know why. Because we're going to make different food. In the next episode. Oh my gosh. Now the party's over and everybody's leaving. Y'all didn't eat nothing. That's on you. That's on you.
Zeb offered food. And y'all didn't eat it. Only Zeb's kids eat or eating it. Zeb and her kids were the only one eating the food. Well, her, her current kids living in the household. Well, not the babies. The babies couldn't eat pizza. Oh, y'all are rude. Y'all are so freaking rude. We're going to work on skills. Well, let's just kind of take that as an insult. Nobody ate her food. Except her, except their kids, Callum and Dash. They're the only ones who ate her food. But nobody else touched it. Did you all see that? Nobody else touched it. Maybe you should have had the party outside. But it was cold. It was cold outside, so we didn't have a party outside. It was cold. Well, this is an episode in the knot. Y'all having fun? Yeah. At least in the next episode, Zed's going to cook up more stuff. The reason I'm not doing it now is because I dedicated an episode by itself for Zeb to cook. I'm not cooking in this episode and part of the next episode. Cooper wants to go out to the bluffs. Yeah, sure, let's go out. I'm. It's better than sticking around here and doing nothing. Let's go to the bluffs. Yeah, this is, we're just doing this just to get out of the house. You and Zeb is... Pregnant. Prince says you are clearly good friends to know. Because he's, cause he's friends with Jared Dreamer. Okay, fine, whatever. And this has to be a long episode. You know, she's clearly almost done with some of her skills. Oh my gosh. The skills she's got done so far. She's almost running out of skills to do. The prince is there. Yay! Hey, Prince, what's up? Prince, why'd you text Zev if you were going to be at the party? That's pretty stupid. Why'd he text her if he was at the party? That's dumb. <laughs> Remember when he texted her? He was at the party. Zev can break it down even though she's pregnant. Even ghosts can break it down. Look at the ghosts and the Zev's, Zev's mother is a ghost.
you know, every time Zeb goes to a party, I gotta make sure she does all the show-off moves, things she can do. Like with the light spin and everything like that. Let's just get that out of the way, you know. She can't do the backflip. Not when she's pregnant. Dev might as well talk to her dad while she's here. I mean, why not? We'll talk to somebody while she's here. Ooh. She think about flirting with Bunny? Yes. We're going to flirt with Bunny. Ooh. Kiss on the cheek. Nice. She's flirting with Bunny. We're going to hook up with Bunny. So this is great. I remember somebody making a request for Zeb to hook up with Bunny in a few, like during the first 100 Baby Challenge somewhere in the first, second generation. We're going to do that right now. Yeah, turn on the light. Something's getting dark in here for some reason. I'm not sure why. So, yeah, I was about to do an outro, right? I was going to do an outro, but I'm like, why does Hepster have to be 30 minutes? And I'm like, wait a second, I almost forgot that Zev starts flirting with Bunny. I didn't want to forget that. I, I didn't want to forget that and cut that out. No way. Oh, and they hug and flirt. It's pretty hot and heavy. They're gonna take things a little bit slow. That's good. Zeb needs to take it slow. Because why? She's busy doing a challenge. Ooh, blowing kisses. Nice. Ooh. We're sweet nothings to each other. Ooh. Give me some kissing, huh, Zev? They're flirting pretty hot and heavy. Attention seduce. Ooh, and Bunny's into that. She went over to the other team pretty quick soon after Priest died. I know that's wrong, but Bunny wanted to move on. It just happens to be with Zev. Because Zev also brings uh, Bunny to, to the edge of climax. Mm -hmm. As you would notice in Dutch Street. The episode that's treating legs, in case anybody doesn't know. Well, they're going to take it slow for a little bit, okay? And that's pretty normal. That's going to be pretty normal to take it slow. Because Zeb is obviously pregnant, and we want her to have babies, and we want her to do this challenge. We need her to focus on the challenge. It's okay to have the little... Romance on the side, actual true romance. And it just happens to be with Bunny, and that's good. Anyways, we are getting close to the end of this video. So stay tuned for part 52, where we focus on Zev cooking up more delicious food for future parties. Something other than pizza, because everybody's tired of eating pizza. So stay tuned for part 52.